I saw videos of my fiancé cheating during her bachelorette party. I can't believe I'm involved in a story like this. I haven't actually talked to anyone about what happened even though a lot of people are trying. I think I just need to vent a little bit before I talk to anyone. My girlfriend 29F and I 33M were together for years and we were engaged to be married. Last weekend she had her bachelorette party I didn't have a problem with it especially after what she told me was the plan. Her and some friends were going to rent an Airbnb or something, a big place with like 4 bedrooms and they were just going to get trashed and party and hang out. The day of the party she was at my place, a 2 bedroom apartment 1 room I use as a home office. I am an a self-employed investor. She makes all of the arrangements and goes to meet her friends. We texted a little but as the party warmed up we stopped and I figured they were just having fun. After midnight I start getting ready for bed and notice that the computer in my office isn't turned off, rather the black screen was just a screen saver. It turns out fiancé had not logged out and her messenger was still open on the computer. There was a group chat where her and the girls had been planning everything. And a lot of videos were uploaded to the chat. I was a little curious and I started watching some of the videos. Most of them were pretty innocent, just a group of 15 girls getting drunk and stoned nad dancing and whatever. Then there was a video of a woman going to the front door and about 10 guys enter the apartment. I don't know they were and I didn't recognize anyone. There were a couple videos of the guys and girls dancing and drinking. And then the worst happened. A video started of my fiancé making out with a guy on the sofa. She stops and rolls over and starts making out with a second guy. Then there was a video of her and the two guys going into a bedroom. There was also a video of them coming out that according to the timestamps was 5 minutes later but that doesn't mean anything. For all I know the videos were an hour apart and they were all just uploaded at the same time. Seeing all this was like a sledgehammer to the guy. I walked into the bathroom because I thought I would be sick. I wasn't. But I feel like I paced back and forth in the apartment for about 30 minutes. Then I poured myself a rocks glass full of whiskey and chugged it down. I saved the videos and then made one of my own. Just a short little selfie video of me saying, hi this is, my name, your ex-fiancé. Just wanted to say I saw the videos from the party and the wedding is off. I hope it was worth it. I'm glad I saved the videos because in less than 10 minutes they were all deleted and my phone started blowing up but I didn't answer any calls or texts. At first it was just my girlfriend texting saying she can explain and it's not what it looked like. Then her friends joined in. But I ignored everyone and didn't respond. Then suddenly I got a request for a video chat and I'll admit my curiosity got the better of me. I answered the call but didn't say anything. It was my fiancé sitting in front of the camera and she looked like she had been crying and the other friends just around her. I really only know maybe four of the friends but I recognize a lot of the others. First she started apologizing but kept saying it wasn't what it looked like it was just a party and the guys coming over was not planned or anything like that. She said it might have looked bad but nothing happened. When I didn't say anything she just kept going on with more of the same and her friends backed her up. The more I didn't speak the more hysterical she got. Eventually she admitted to kissing the two guys but dumped the blame on her friends who all took responsibility for that which surprised me a little. She said the kisses didn't mean anything and that's all that happened. Then she seemed to remember the video of her going into the bedroom and she started screaming that it was just a joke and nothing happened. All the other women confirmed it was just a joke and that my fiancé had walked into the room and then turned around and walked out again. This just keeping going on and on and they just kept repeating themselves. Eventually everyone got quiet and all I said was, is there anything else to add? She said no and I just ended the video call. I went on to social media and changed my relationship status to single and posted that the wedding was off and if anyone had bought a present they should feel free to return it. Fiancé saw the post and is freaking out even more and just keeps insisting that all she did was kiss and nothing else. I sent her a text saying if I suspect that her or any of her friends lies about what happened or try to make me the bad guy then I will post all the videos online. Right now no one else knows what is happening. This was a couple days ago and everything for the wedding is cancelled and my fiancé just keeps pursuing me. Any advice on what I should do from here? Update. The update is pretty simple. Everything has been called off and cancelled. The wedding is officially not happening, I got the ring back and all of her stuff is moved out. She is staying with her parents for now. We did talk a little bit. It was mostly just her begging and apologizing and crying. She keeps insisting that all she did was kiss the guys. And she has never done anything like this before and she promises it will never happen again. Part of me really wanted to believe her but the problem is that this incident puts our entire relationship in doubt, I think she may be telling the truth but again the point is there is no way to know. If it is true that her friends pressured her to do it then how can I believe they never did it before? We kept going around in circles because ultimately there is just no way I can be sure. 
She said she would do anything including cutting off her friends and only ever drink around me. She really blasted her friends online saying if at the party had stuck to the original plan she would still be getting married so maybe she already cut them off. All I can say is that at the moment I am single and I'm just going to live my life. Probably take some time to myself after getting out of a 4-year relationship. What's crazy is that a couple of her friends are also texting me, just to talk. I haven't responded yet because well it's hard to trust them to. Thanks again to everyone who expressed sympathy and I hope none of you here need to deal with anything like this in the future.